Hey guys, Jessica here. So today we're going to be talking about the S21 breast pump that's being sold on Amazon. So this is a generic rebranded Chinese imported pump. It looks like this. This is one version of it sold by the company Mom Med. Here is another sold by the company Sinpost. You can see they are fairly low profile. It's a very natural shape. They're very quiet. They're very easy to wash. They're very easy to assemble. What you've got is a cup with a motor that sits down. So it's integrated into the shape. This is going to be a competitor to pumps like the Mom Cozy Pro line and the Mom Cozy M1. It has the similar shape to the M1, except this pump is far quieter. Right now it is retailing under several different brands ranging between, I've seen it as low as $80 for the pair when it was on a really good sale to averaging about $115 to $120. So let's just take a look real quick at the different brands that this is being sold under. And then we're going to talk about some of the differences in the brands and some of the feedback that we've got. Okay. So right now on Amazon today, the mom med double pack is selling for $119. The S21 under the Sinpost brand is selling for $119 in a double pack. The One Picks brand, which is, it looks exactly the same, just slightly different coloring. We're talking $119 for the two pack. And today the Boy Bee brand, which is this light green version, is selling for $109 for the two pack. So these are really affordable. So these are becoming increasingly popular because for $120 max, what you can get is two wearable pumps, natural profile, low volume, very discreet. They're running very basic programs. It's an effective program. People are responding really well to these pumps. However, here are some of the feedback we're getting is that certain brands of this S21 are performing better than others. If you've never had your hands on multiple brands, it could be very easy to think that they're exactly the same. But what we're finding out is that they're not performing the same. So Mom Med is one that's getting really good reviews. The parts fit together very well. The motor is very solid in place. It's very consistent performing. The battery life is great. These are rated for 270 mmHg, so great suction. Sinpost, however, it looks like it's just the pink version, but what we've had is some difficulties with the motor not sitting down quite right. You can see that sometimes you'll get a gap here, and even if you press it down, it doesn't always want to go. It's almost like this piece right here is just a touch too big for the other pieces. It gets pretty good reviews. The battery life has been a little inconsistent. A lot of people have noticed that this gets decreased suction as the battery drains, whereas this does not seem to get decreased suction. So these are the two primary ones that I have dealt with. I'm seeing an increasing number of these different rebranded pumps for this version popping up on Amazon, which is very consistent with other kind of not no name, pumps, but smaller brands. These are not Medellas and Spectras. These are very small brands. They're producing these, you know, low cost wearables, which are very popular. We get mixed results. So let's talk about the program that these are all running because these are being basically marketed as identical to one another. So the program on all of these is the same. Okay, so we have a very basic program running. We have three modes with 12 levels each, maximum suction of 270 mmHg, cycle speeds of 22 at the highest expression setting, and 102 cycles at the lowest stimulation phase. It's running great cycle speeds. It does have that two-phase suction pattern that is increasing in popularity, and that's fantastic. Um, a lot of people find that they adjust really, really fast to this type of suction. However, and the automatic suction, what that is, is the pump is programmed to automatically raise levels. I actually really like this because what it does is it allows the nipple to gently stretch before going into the stimulation mode, which for some people can be a little intense to just start in stimulation. 
This pump is really gentle. It's very effective. There's a reason it's becoming increasingly popular. But let's take a look at some of the data that I gathered running the test on these two versions. I only tested the SynPOS and the MomMed. On the SynPOS, which is the one where we had the issues where the parts don't quite fit together just as nicely as we would like, what I saw is that when those parts are not sitting just perfectly, you can actually have them shift mid pump and you would get these drops in suction. It can be very easily adjusted, but this is typically indicative of a little bit lower quality product. So at $120 for a wearable pump, this is really not outside of what I would expect. I'm not expecting top of the line performance. But I was really surprised when I was running the mom med tests. This pump performed as consistently and evenly as what I would expect with a lot more high quality, high price pumps. So the mom med was a really surprising little find in terms of how it was testing. So these pumps look the same. They're marketed as both being S21s, but they're not performing quite the same. So what I did is I had my husband actually open them up and give me his perspective on the motors as an engineer to help me get a better idea of why these pumps are not performing quite the same. So let's take a peek inside these motors. Okay. Um, so comparing these two pumps, uh, virtually identical in terms of build interior and exterior. Uh, really the only noticeable difference is that the motor and the pump uh, between the two of them, these two are a match set, which means that the sub-tier supplier that provided these two likely designed them to work together, whereas these two uh, did not. And so what that would mean is the company that provided this breast pump probably just bought whatever motor and whatever pump were the two cheapest that met the same form factor to save a small amount of money which is fine and probably adds just a little bit of risk um, that one of these components could burn out, but they look virtually identical and are probably made to the same exact set of plans. And it's probably just a different company up the road made it. And so if you were to buy either of these, you're probably getting pretty much an identical pump. And so it would be pretty minimal risk. Okay, so as you saw, the fact that this looks like this does not mean you're dealing with identical pumps with different colors and different names. What you're dealing with here is a design that different manufacturers are likely buying the rights to. That means they're getting the specs. They may be getting the casing, although let me pull the SimPost motor and show you that I don't even think the casing is quite the same. I think they're getting the specs and then manufacturing it. What we have here, you can see there's data printed on the bottom of this one. There's nothing here. Everything else though, it's it's pretty close. But if you line these up just perfectly, this one is a little bit shorter. So what this makes me think is that you buy the specs and then some of the internals come with it. Some of them you purchase aftermarket, which is why we saw that this one had the matched motor and valve and or the matched motor and pump and this one did not. Like you pointed out, these things are pretty low risk. It's really not compromising quality by too much. So it really almost doesn't matter which one of these versions you purchase. You're probably going to get about the same product, but some of them are going to perform a little bit better. Some of them are going to be slightly higher quality. Again, we're talking very small differences. And for the average user, they're probably not going to notice much difference between a SimPost versus a mom med. Now these other brands, we could find that they are closer to the mom med, or maybe they're closer to the SynPost, or maybe they're a lower quality option that looks the same. It's gonna be really hard to tell. And whenever these type of designs become popular, what we see is a large number of variations. So it does get a little con confusing for the consumer because you'll have 10 different versions of essentially the same pump with the same features, at about the same price and you're trying to find which one is gonna be the highest quality because one of the known issues is that you can't always reach the manufacturers to have a warranty. I will say, however, I did have a client with the mom med who had a motor that died 
And the company did respond and she had very favorable things to say. So I have not had any action or any interaction with the Senpos company to know how their warranty is. However, I could not easily find contact information for them. MomMed did seem to be a little bit more easy to access and to have a little bit more information about their warranty. So these are just different things to consider. Functionally, these pumps are performing about the same. In terms of a $120 pump, I think they both actually performed really beautifully. The Mom Med, however, did stand out compared to the Zenpos as a little bit higher quality version of the S21. So if what you're looking for is an occasional use wearable that's going to be discreet, low volume, it's just going to simply fit in the bra and do what it's supposed to do, I'm going to recommend the Mom Med because it performed really well when I tested it. And at $120, I found it to be a really good quality purchase. So give this a try if you're wanting to try the S21. This could also be if you're getting it on a good deal, but if you're going to pay full price, I would probably go with this one. Hopefully this helps consumers help to figure out that just because it looks the same, these pumps are not actually exactly the same. There are differences and trying to sort them out is complex. We're not always going to have the answers. You are taking a little bit of a gamble when you buy these, but sometimes when you gamble, you get a really good product for it. So hope this helps. 